Honest, J. Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet all at last, and welcome back to HJN, the original. And now, let's just get on to some more territory revolving around different subjects that I'll have before the next upcoming crossover. Yeah, I might as well just stop mentioning that because I am in fact going to be having some other things to talk about pretty soon as well. So, let's just keep that in mind. But right now, I might as well get on to some more t territory that I have not yet charted. Including this one, growth. Yeah. I have not necessarily gone into detail on this, or at least into greater detail based on growth or anything in relation to that. But now let's get on into it, just to get it out of the way for the most part. Growth is in fact a very important process that you have throughout your childhood. It not only involves physical growth, which of course means gaining height and weight over time, but it does in fact involve a lot of other things that you would need to do in order to do it correctly. Exercise is one other thing, proper rest, proper diets, and proper many other things out there that you'd have to do in order to have yourself a substantially proficient type of growth process. But there are some times where that may not be as good and lots of people that don't really seem to have a good job at survival and growth, they can't necessarily do as good as many of us would do nowadays. But this is of course because their diets are wrong, relationships seem wrong, and the many other things also don't really turn out the way that it should. But growth does have a lot of other factors that do in fact assist in the process of being able to not only gain age, but also to help with your life as a whole. So the point basically is that most of the time we have ourselves a lot of things that we also want to focus on, yet there aren't always the occasions for that. Socialization happens to be another big key factor in the process of growth itself. As it turns out, when we go to school, it's not only to help ourselves educate, which will allow our brains themselves to grow in the process of having our bodies grow as well, but it turns out that socialization happens to really allow for extreme levels of knowledge, and not to mention different memories that you can keep with you throughout your lifetime. It appears that different faculties happen to hold different promises to you throughout your lifetime regardless of what grade level they can accommodate it seems to be that no matter what faculty you have you have yourself a whole different path that you could potentially choose from and not every single one of us has ourselves the choice that's necessary but that's mostly because the many things that surround us including the economy including the welfare, including the government, including many things out there. It does seem to be that we are going to have ourselves lots of other things that are going to not only affect us physically, but also mentally. So of course, growth is a very complicated process and can be challenging for pretty much everybody, regardless of who they may be regardless of what their level is in terms of their skills, intelligence, strength, speed, and other unique factors that can in fact help distinguish anybody from another. So that seems to be the core of it. And I would in fact continue on with this, but yeah, I might as well take up a good opportunity and try to rest my vocal cords a bit because <clears throat> I guess that's what happens when you marathon, record a bunch of episodes at once. So that's just pretty much what that's going to be about. But if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.